Hey everyone, how you doing? Yes, <laughs> I'm breastfeeding whilst talking. <laughs> I'm glued to this lady today and I thought if I don't do this video today, I might not do it. But it's something that it's always been on my mind and then and then someone sent me a video last night on my Instagram not someone my friend sent me a video on, on Instagram and it's I'm just going to insert the video here Yo, what's up? listen you know what the fuck I hate you see somebody that you know running a business and you want to do the same thing so you ask them what steps did they take and it's mainly our fucking race I'm just gonna call it how I see it because they don't want you to compete with them but it's enough money for everybody bitch so I got a friend I'm, I'm asking I'm like yo I'm, I want to start a business how can you do it because she's successful well dress it's, it's a lot of hard work you know okay but like more specifically how did you make it happen like what did you do I dedicated everything I had you know I committed you know oh I but more specifically what did you have to go through like it's gonna be a lot of long nights a lot of sleepless days you know bitch that sound like a heartbreak I'm talking about the steps who did you call how did you get started specifically since that's how black people understand specifically specifically who did you call Jesus believe it or not Jess Jesus and God were the only two people I called they were the only ones to help me through this well bitch what's their numbers because I ain't getting nowhere with you you know, a part of me understands where she's coming from because I used to actually think the same thing. But let me just offer a different perspective real quick. Let's say you go to 15 years of school and understudying and job shadowing and all of that to become a neurosurgeon. And somebody just comes up to you and says, hey, teach me how to do surgery. How, how, how do you do that? Like specifically, how do you do it? Or more realistically, let's say you open up a restaurant, right? And you spent your last dime to open up that restaurant. And whenever you finally get it open, somebody comes in and says, yo, Give me the hookup. Give me some free food. Let me get that. That's the exact same thing whenever you go up to a successful business owner and you say specifically, lay out the steps it took for you to start that business. So how do you run this business? Like physically saying, give me the hookup is the exact same thing as intellectually saying, give me, give me, give me free information that may have taken you years and losses and tears and all of that to earn and, and to come up with. But here's the thing, like in the same way, whenever you got a successful restaurant, you don't mind helping people in need. You know, you don't mind helping people at random just to show love, but there's a limit to that. Like you can't help everybody. And you especially don't want to help people who have any kind of sense of entitlement whenever they come into your place of business. And if somebody asks you something, but they don't give you the freedom to say no, at least without attacking your character on the back end and saying that you, you know, you, you just afraid to compete or you think there ain't enough money to go around. There's clearly some sense of entitlement there. But the right way to go up to somebody and ask for information, especially if you're talking about a successful business owner, is to ask if they offer consultations. Can you, you know, buy them lunch at least? Do they have any books or maybe, you know, offer to exchange? information that also may be helpful to them just to show respect for what they may be able to offer you and then accept whatever they do or don't give you because they really don't owe you anything granted i'm not saying that if you need help in your business or if you ask an entrepreneur for help in their business like you're entitled you're just a bad person i really think the problem is we live in a day and age where information is so freely given and because right then and there it's nothing you know it costs them nothing to tell you something so we automatically think it didn't cost them much to acquire that information but let me tell you something a lot of people think that entrepreneurs are out here depressed and going crazy or committing suicide because money don't buy happiness when that's partly the truth but the other part to that truth is entrepreneurship is just hard like you put your heart your soul your last dime towards something just to finally see whenever you launch it people don't support it or somebody done stole your concept or the one mistake that you made from your naivety caused your whole business to come crashing down now you got your family your friends your exes your enemies and everybody else looking at you like you a failure on top of that you more broke than whenever you first started so you got to figure that out out, add kids to the mix who are dependent on you and here comes the anxiety here comes the frustration and whenever you finally get over that hump whenever you finally figure it out all the information the lessons that you learn have that much more value not just because of what the money is that it's saving you and what it's making you but also because of what you went through to get that so whenever somebody comes up and says intellectually gimme 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 it's damn near an insult so like before we approach people and we say, you know what, if you don't tell me what I want to know from you, it means you don't think there's enough money and success to go around. Let's first make sure we approaching them with the appropriate amount of respect of what it may have taken for them to earn the information that we want from them. Because that ain't no friendly talk about what happened on your favorite reality show or who scored the most points last night. That's a business consultation that apparently you're expecting for free. Again, it's not strictly about the money. Like maybe they didn't have the time or maybe they didn't have the energy or maybe you didn't approach them the right way 
out the gate. And had you done that, they would have been willing to help you. But if they did not, they still wouldn't be wrong for it. And if you're thinking to yourself, it ain't even that serious. It ain't even that deep. Then they rightfully chose not to waste their energy on you because clearly you don't value it. So basically, the lady is saying, black people, you know, we find it so hard to give each, each other information. Like, someone would know something and then you ask them, you know, how did you go about doing this? And like, it's like God trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to find, find diamond. It, that, diamond is even easier to find than getting information from black person. And then this man was saying that, you know, it's like, why should people give you free information? You know, why do you feel, you know, you, why should black, like, basically black people feel entitled? And it's not about feeling entitled. I mean, she's saying a friend, she's asking information from a friend. Then I guess some people don't know what friendship is. So we can see it that way. Anyway. Madam is feeding down here, but I have to get this video done or else tomorrow is a busy day, so I thought I'd get this done today. So you might be hearing some... <laughs> She's eating her food. Anyway, so... And I've always, I've always said this, like, black people, we do, we do not help each other. I think black people, what we do is get knowledge or get wealth to just oppress each other that's what we're all about like just to get money to oppress each other like even if you have some friends they they will have vital information of how you can move up or how you can succeed in life but they will choose not to share with you all because they know that once they give you that information you might do better than them that's all or you might even get to their level you will notice that black people will only give you the only information a black person will give you is one that will still keep you under them as long if you're still going to be under them they will they will be they will happily give you that information if it's anything that will help you level up to their level or go above them, forget it. Don't even bother because you're going to waste your time. They will not give you that information. It's simple as that. It's simple as that. Black people do not share information like that. Example, where I was working, but when, when I got pregnant, you know, it was too... It was it was it wasn't safe for me to work in that department anymore. So I was moved to another department. It was admin department. I don't know anything about admin. Like, <laughs> I've never worked in admin. So I was sent here, you know, because it would be safer for me to work there. <laughs> so when I got there, this lady that was working with a black lady, you know, I was even happy to, you know, work with, you know, do something different. But I was finding it boring after a while because there was nothing for me to do. She was always like keeping all the work to herself. The only thing she asked me to do is like do the file, like sort out the files and stuff or, you know, write on envelopes and all this. And I, I was getting bored because I'm someone that I like to just do things. I don't like being idle. Anyway, this lady, and I asked her, I said, oh, you know what? You can, can you show me how to do this thing you're doing i think it was a rotor or something like just for me to have something to do you know i could be doing that sometimes and she was like no are you trying to take my job like i don't understand <laughs> do you really think i want to if i want the job i would have applied you know as you do like they don't this is the united kingdom they didn't just uh, uproot someone's job and just pass it to someone you have to apply for the job so anyway i'm like okay chill out when the phone rings sometimes she's on the computer doing something and i'll just think okay let me help her pick up like it might be like the another 
because there are two phones so it might be the one not close to her i'll pick up the the one day i pick up the phone for her because it was ringing and ringing and she was busy doing the rotor so i was like oh let me help her pick up and then obviously pass on the message and she was like don't ever pick up my phone anymore i'm like all right chill out uh, all the vibes i was just getting like she didn't even want me there <laughs> so i'm like okay sorry one day i was sent to another department it was like um it was a management you know department so i was sent there and this the lady that i was working with first time that i met her you know first time white lady she was she was showing me everything she's like oh let me show you how to do this let me show you how to do that blah 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 do this do that try this out you try it let me show you you can have a go let me and that's the sort of thing i like not because i want the job because i just want something to do at that moment and she didn't even feel threatened that she was teaching me how to do her own job she and she was even quite she was even asking me oh so what what are your plans in this company would you like to you know are you tr planning to move up or move to another department you know there's so many opportunities she was telling me all this like she didn't have to um do you know what i told her i was like you know i'm interested in this department you know later on you know and she's like oh i know someone working in that department let me quickly email her maybe you can go there and shadow whilst you're like i was like <laughs> i was like yes this is the sort of thing that we need like someone that would just do stuff for you you know she didn't have to but she did because she knew that i was interested in this i'm not saying oh yeah just get me a job quick 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 things you know just get me a job like no interviews no nothing i wasn't asking that she's saying you know what you can go and shadow these people and see if you really want to do this kind of job or just to have an idea of what's going on there that's all i'm not asking her to get me the job without no interview or you know get me a special give me a special treatment uh, she just just opened my eyes to what's going on that's all and i didn't even ask her she offered that and she did that for me without you know any any you know a jam question <laughs> But a black person, no, they will look you up and down and be like, oh, so is you. You want to come and do boss? Yeah. They will just change it for you. So don't even bother asking because they would, they would, they would. <sighs> black people, we've got a long way to go. That's why we're not winning. That's why we're still losing. <laughs> black people forever be losing if we don't change this mentality another example a man was telling me how he met how we bought his own house in this country so he was renting and at work he has an asian friend who you know they work together and the asian man invited him to his house for i think it was for christmas or something and whilst they, was, they were talking back and forth and he's like oh why are you still renting why don't you buy your own place and it was like obviously the deposit <laughs> you need a big deposit to be able to buy a house you know and we don't have that yet and he was like oh if let me show you my portfolio i mean to buying houses you know i rent i rent some out blah 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 here's my portfolio go through it and tell me which one you're interested in like which one i'm interested in like i don't understand fam like so what i what you just want me to just get my hopes up or nothing i'll be looking i'll be looking it was like no if you're interested in it then we can come up with a plan you don't need a deposit just you know pay me monthly as a black person you're like like Oh God, <laughs> you know your black brother ain't gonna do that. Your black brother will bring out the portfolio, make you look through it, make you even salivate all over the thing, and then close it back and be like, yes, the, um, all these houses are mine, you know, <laughs> to oppress you. And then you go and be thinking about your life. That's what we're good at. We're good at oppressing each other. We don't want to help nobody. 
just because you struggled to get somewhere why does your friend have to struggle as well like why do we have that mentality that like, oh yeah but nobody was there when i was struggling to do this nobody was there when i was struggling to do that and so like yeah you struggled for a reason for you to bring someone else up like maybe we don't have we don't all have like a generous you know heart or mind or whatever but like come on that's how we're all going to win <laughs> just because you help someone today they might they might return that favor in the future just because you are you're like um you have a business and everything's going on well now does not mean it will be like that forever if you help someone else and they're on their feet you might need their help later on don't odd um information don't keep information to yourself you know that saying when they say oh if you go to a graveyard um there's so many um lost dreams and blah 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 there's so many vital information some people will hold information like this to to they die they will not die with that information and then their family will be struggling some people have like you know proper information that can actually change their life their own life but just because they don't want to share it with anyone else sometimes you can have information like vital information that could change your life but until you share it with someone else you would not even know where to go with that information that's fact of life actually <laughs> like there's some 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 people are destined to collaborate with someone else in order for them to move up in life that's what some people don't understand and we say yeah um i'm a christian i'm a muslim you know i'm religious but you're not you're not some people your destiny is to collaborate with someone else you might have the information but until you speak to someone else about information that's when you start having you start seeing results until then some people just want to hold that information and be like yeah i'm gonna figure it out all by myself and then you stay there and then you die there because you refuse to just share commonly because you're scared that someone else is gonna run away with your information like if your friend come up to you and ask you how did you start your business what are the things what you know who introduced me to your accountant he introduced me to you and then you're now you know like some of you are mad <laughs> seriously there's so many information like if you go even if you come on you there's so many people that come on youtube and now they will give you details of how to do certain things and you're like wow even my friends know this information but they refuse to give me but this person some random next person on youtube is giving you information anyhow like this this is what community is all about how many black people will give you information to so that you can <laughs> so that you can come to the level or so that you can surpass them no 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 they don't want to be you know they don't want to be at the bottom they always want to be at the top that's our mentality from from days and it's really sad like you will see successful Cauca uh, caucasian people asian people and they're helping each other like they will you will see them go to peco you see them maybe 10 of them own one shop you will never know one of them will never come and say yeah i'm the boss yeah i'm the black person even if you they collaborate with each other everybody wants to be the boss everybody wants to know that yes they have the most share in this business oh yeah i'm the leader everybody wants to be the, why can't you just make this money together and forget about who's the boss or just make this money together like do it together you win more when you collaborate anyway i'm talking too much like we, we we still won't listen anyway so but i just thought i've always thought of this because funny enough like my last video i actually made a video after it and i'm like you know what let me not post it and it was actually about black people not supporting each other and then i saw that video i'm like you know what let me make this video with it and just get get it off my chest 
because it's really annoying that we find it so difficult to help each other especially people that you i mean she said a friend she called her friend to find out how she started her own business like if someone is your friend why do why shouldn't you feel obligated why why not because they're your friend if someone is your friend do you know what a friendship is some of you don't know what friendship is someone that you know they're your friend and they they asking you how did you do this and you now say oh i shouldn't have to tell you you should we are friends your friends if you don't know if you can't share information with your friend then oh, you're not friends basically sorry you're not friends it makes no sense if you know how your friend can move forward and you have that fight vital information and you're saying they should come and pay you before you can tell them you are mad you're very stupid <laughs> and uh, go and die with your information because like i don't get it i do not get it everything is not about money everything is not about oh give me something if i can just give someone information they're not asking you you know where is your what's your pin number where's your bank details let me withdraw money they're asking you just help me just you know give me that little lift and let me be able to stand on my feet but no black people just want to make it and then they like people to come to them be begging them bro can you borrow me five pounds can you borrow me ten pounds that's what black people like that's our own helping each other for you to come and be begging them begging them every day instead of them to say you know what instead of me borrowing you for let me show you how you can make that five pound yourself no they like when you come and be begging them that's when you see them they will support you that time but let let you tell say oh i have an idea but just show me how i can go about it then you start here the, the phone will be unavailable that time anyway guys you have a blessed week and i'll see you in my next video Ta -ra.